Frame Fam, welcome back to the channel for another tech update. Before we begin, I just want to apologize for not posting one of these tech update videos in the last few weeks. With so much releasing around the holidays, it was very hard for me to do all my testing while squeezing these in, but I will definitely stay on top of it more from this point forward. I also want to emphasize that these rumors I am about to cover today are fresh off the press and discuss hardware that might be a year or more away from release. So absolutely take this information with a huge grain of salt as it is very early and things can change down the line as they have before. But it is very interesting to go over these rumored possibilities for some insight into the future. Now I know what a lot of people are already thinking as soon as they saw the title of this video. The 40 series frame rated really? The 30 series just came out and they still have some unreleased models. Isn't it too early to be talking about this? Well actually yes and I would absolutely agree with you if that is what you thought because I thought the exact same thing when I discovered the article and tweets covering these rumors which I have linked down in my description below. Now it's definitely a no-brainer to assume that Nvidia and AMD are always at work developing their next generation of GPUs behind closed doors, but considering it's only been a few months since the 30 series Ampere release, I was not expecting to make a video about the 40 series anytime soon. So what has been said and what do we know so far about specs, release time frame, and price points of the future RTX 4090? Well thanks to the popular leaker Copite 7, we know the 40 series GPUs will be released on Samsung's new 5 nanometer node and will be using the Ada Lovelace GPU architecture. As for more specific specs, it is said that the RTX 4090 will have as many as 18,432 CUDA cores, 72 texture processor clusters, and 144 streaming multiprocessors. Now we don't have much to go on as for any other specific specifications or even what kind of memory configuration Nvidia is planning on utilizing for their next gen cards, but rumors suggest that the RTX 4090 will overall be capable of 66 teraflops of processing power if it's clocked at around 1.8 GHz and will be around twice as powerful as the current RTX 3090. Now this is all very impressive, but when can you expect to see the 40 series GPUs to see the light of day and how much should it run you? Well sadly these two pieces of information have had the smallest amount of details since these new rumors have started popping up, but some insiders have been saying that we could see the 4090 release as early as the end of 2021 for about the same price targets as their current predecessors that they will be replacing. If this is true, you could see a $1500 RTX 4090 release next holiday that doubles capability in most if not all areas of performance. These rumors are certainly exciting to think about as these improvements should make their way down the entire 40 series ladder of GPUs, but I would be lying if I didn't think that things were moving a little faster than I'm used to here. I mean I was totally expecting to be creating content related to a future 30 super series of GPUs next year, not the 40 series as I expected them to release that GPU sometime in the 2022 time window. But we all know one thing for certain and that is time will certainly tell. And you can absolutely expect more coverage on the 40 series GPUs or any other interesting findings in the PC realm from myself as quickly as I can. But I want to know what you all think. Do you think this will end up being a super series of cards and not turn out to be the 40 series? Is it too early for Nvidia to aim at a 2021 40 series release window? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to engage with you all. Anyway fam, that's all I have for you in today's video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to smash that like button. That way YouTube will show the video off to others who might enjoy it as well. As always, it's been my pleasure. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I will see you in the next video.